Welcome to subtraction with whole numbers. Just like addition, you start in the ones place, only you do a subtraction. So 9 minus 1 is 8. 4 minus 7, you can't do that, so we have to borrow from the 6. Make that a 5. Make that a 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. 5 minus 8 cannot do that. We have to borrow from the 5 again. Make that a 6. 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7. And 6 minus 1 is 5. So there's our answer. We start over here. 4 minus 5. That's a borrow from the 5. Make that a 4. Put the 1 right there, making that a 14. Minus 5 is 9. 4 minus 7 cannot do it. Borrow from the 2, make that a 1, make that a 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. 1 minus 6, we have to borrow from the 8, make that a 7. Make that 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. And 7 minus 3 is 4. Over here, we have 6 minus 7, borrow from the 2, make that a 1, make that a 16. That's going to be 9. 16 minus 7 is 9. So it's a borrow from the 3, make that a 2, make that an 11. So 11 minus 8 is 3. 2 minus 4, can't do it. The borrow from the 7, make that a 6. And that's going to be 12 minus 4 is 8. And then 6 minus 3 is 3. So over here, 3 minus 8, to borrow from the 4, make that a 3, make that a 13. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 is 5. 3 minus 7, can't do that. To borrow from the 1, make that a 0, make that 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. 0 minus 9, borrow from the 9, make that an 8, make that a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. And 8 minus 1 is 7. Over here, 2 minus 7, need to borrow from the 3, make that a 2, make that a 12. 7 minus 12 is, or 12 minus 7 is 5. 2 minus 8, can't do that. Borrow from the 5, make that a 4. 12 minus 8 is 4. 4 minus 6, can't do it. Borrow from this 6, make that a 5, make that a 14. It's going to be 8. 14 minus 6 is 8. 5 minus 2 is 3. Those are our answers for those ones. And when you get good at placement, you can do it horizontally. So 8 minus 2, make sure you go from left to right. 8 minus 2 is 6. Put the 6 way over here. And then 9 minus 5 is 4. 46. 9 minus 8 is 1. 6 minus 7, can't do that with the borrow from the 6, make that a 5, oh, sorry, borrow from the 4, make this a 16, make that a 3. So 16 minus 7 is 9, and we have 3 minus 2 is 1, and then 1 minus 1 is 0, so we don't have to include it. You don't need to include any leading zeros, but it's very important to include the following zeros. So 1 minus 3, can't do that to borrow from the 2. Make that a 1. Put the 1 right there. And that's going to be 8. 1 minus 4, can't do that to borrow from the 7. Make that a 6. Change that to an 11. And we have 7. Six minus nine can't do that to borrow from the six. Make that a five. Sixteen. Let's 
going to be 7, and 5 minus 1 is 4. And that is our answer. And that's all I have for subtraction with whole numbers.